In the world of electric vehicles, EVs, Tesla is king. The car company is a global leader in EV manufacturing in the world. With $400 million of annual sales in 2012, Tesla was able to increase this to $31.5 billion by 2020. Right now, there isn't really any other major competition, but it seems that Toyota is trying to change this. With the introduction of their solid-state batteries and production of their BZ4X vehicles, with BZ standing for Beyond Zero, well underway, it is clear that Toyota is trying to position itself as a worthy competition. Now, this is not the first time that Toyota has ventured into the electric vehicle market. In 1997, the Japanese company had made its first battery-powered electric vehicle, the RAV4 EV, and released again in 2012. However, even with these releases, Toyota had never really dedicated their time to EVs. But now, it seems that Toyota is finally ready to go full throttle into the EV market. The solid-state battery that is set to rival Tesla's 4680 battery is said to be a game-changer. Is it really? Let's find out. Welcome to Posh Future. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Toyota Solid Star battery and how it compares to the Tesla 4680 battery. We'll also be talking about Toyota's re-entry into the electric vehicle market and what that means for the automotive industry. Please hit the subscribe button and keep watching to find out all the details. It was in 1997 when Toyota manufactured the Toyota Prius, the first mass-produced hybrid vehicle. This was inspired as hybrid vehicles were not widely popular until Toyota made the Prius. With a hybrid vehicle, a conventional internal combustion engine system is combined with an electric propulsion system. The Prius was praised for being fuel efficient and economical. The Toyota Prius family has been a huge success and as at 2017 had sold about 6.1 million units globally. It is also the top hybrid selling car in the world. So based on these numbers, and the success that Toyota had, they focused a lot of their attention on hybrids. They started using their Prius hybrid technology in some of their other models like the three-row Highlander. They even took the technology to their luxury brand Lexus and hybridized some of their vehicles. Now, in 2012, Tesla released their Model S cars, which were not only electric but also sustainable. Tesla showed that it was on its way to being a global leader in electric vehicles. It set a standard for innovation and vision. It was given a lot of awards, including Times Magazine Best 25 Inventions of the Year 2012. Now, while it seemed that Tesla was well on its way to being at the top, Toyota had not caught on yet. While Tesla viewed electric vehicles as the future, that is here and now, Toyota was looking at hydrogen as being the future that will make electric cars obsolete. While the industry was shifting gradually into electric, Toyota resisted this transition aggressively, insisting that hydrogen power cells and hybrids needed to play a bigger role in the industry. For example, the executives at a Toyota subsidiary in India had criticized the Indian government for its target of 100% electric vehicle sales by 2030, as they didn't believe this was practical. However, it seems that Toyota is trying to at least dedicate some effort and time to fully establishing itself as a worthy competitor in electric cars. Toyota's development of solid-state battery technology is poised to give the company an edge over Tesla. This technology, which is a joint venture between Toyota and Panasonic, is said to be a game changer. Now I hear your question loud and clear. What is solid state battery technology? Well, as the name implies, solid state battery is made of solid electrodes instead of liquid. According to Toyota, the prototype of these batteries are about the size and thickness of a thin spiral back notebook. 
The essence of these batteries is to power their range of electric vehicles. The batteries provide an alternative to lithium-ion batteries, which is what Tesla makes use of. Toyota claims that their solid-state batteries would lower the risk of fire and multiply energy density, which measures the energy a battery can deliver compared to its weight. They also claim that these batteries are safer and perform higher than a lithium-ion battery. These batteries will be able to run at up to 500 kilometers on one charge alone, and charging will only take 10 minutes. This cuts recharging time down by over 60%. Toyota also claims to provide double the range of lithium-ion batteries operating under the same conditions. These batteries will power the new line of Toyota's electric cars. The BZ4X, which is a cross between CHR and RAV4, would have a range of 250 to 300 miles and should debut sometime in 2022. Meanwhile, Tesla announced at the company's battery day in 2020 that they were launching a new battery cell, the 4680 battery. These batteries would be a tabless electrode cobalt-free battery cell. This new battery pack is an upgrade from its predecessor, the 2170 pack, for a whole lot of reasons. The new 4680 battery pack at 46 mm wide and 80 mm tall will be able to provide up to five times more energy storage and six times more power than the 2170 pack, which leads to an increase in road range of up to 16%. This also reduces rage anxiety in the driver as it wouldn't run out of power easily, which also means the driver will not have to make as many stops when taking a long drive or a road trip. It is also cheaper to produce, which means that the EVs that will contain these batteries would be more affordable. This presents a challenge to the Toyota solid state battery. As of right now, Operating a solid-state battery in an electric car is more expensive. This could change as the technology becomes more common. However, in comparison with Tesla, who is cutting battery costs, the solid-state battery doesn't seem like a viable alternative as of yet. Another challenge that Toyota faces with the solid-state batteries against Tesla's 4680 batteries is that Toyota has not yet started full-scale production of these batteries. With Tesla, a pilot line of 4680 batteries has already been developed and Giga Berlin, which will be the largest battery cell plant in the world, will be producing much more of these batteries annually. However, Toyota won't start full-scale production of the solid-state batteries until 2030. So, would Toyota be playing catch-up by then? Only time will tell. While many may argue that the solid-state batteries is the future and will probably be more sustainable, it is not at a stage where it can adequately compete against the Tesla 4680 battery. Right now, Tesla has been able to produce a battery that charges faster than its predecessor and is also cheaper and meets the demands in the market today. Would it be able to compete against the solid-state battery in 2030? It is very possible. However, Tesla has always been forward thinking, and so by that time, they may have already come up with a technology that might supersede that of the solid state battery. But until then, we watch. That's all we have for you today. What are your thoughts on Toyota's solid state battery and Tesla's 4680 battery? Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Did you enjoy the video? If you did, please give the thumbs up and turn on your post notification bell so you will know when we come out with new videos. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you would like to see more of our content. Till next time, bye!